Mark Fredericks, remember he was here as the wide receiver coach, and he was initially coming over to be a part of Dooley's staff uh, once Dooley was named the head coach here at Southern. Uh, but then he went back to Prairie View and ultimately became the offensive coordinator over at Prairie View and now coming back to Southern University as the offensive coordinator. For you, Coach Graves, when you looked around and said, all right, this is a position I need to fill. This was an issue with Southern last year, and particularly the fan base as they looked at Southern's offense and the quarterback play and just the, the lack of production that a lot of people thought that offense should have produced. When you looked at that room and when you looked at that position, what about uh, Coach Frederick stood out that you said, you know what, he's done a great job as a first-time offensive coordinator at Prairie View. Let's bring him over to Southern. Well, actually, uh, Mark, that was not his first time. Mark left Southern University with Mike Jones to go to Lincoln and Missouri and become an offensive coordinator at 27 years old. And uh, he was an offensive coordinator in one of the toughest Division two conferences in the uh, college, uh, college football, which uh, the MIAA and the uh, Gulf South are the two toughest conferences in in Division two football, and they set all kinds of offensive records, broke all kinds of offensive records uh, while he was at Lincoln. Uh, he also, uh, as the OC there, they beat Grambler uh, in Kansas City. Uh, I think it was uh, 2013, I believe it was. And uh, so uh, he's been an offensive coordinator, had experience with that. You know, I coached him uh, here at Southern, uh, watched him grow and develop. We coached, we worked together. Uh, then he went off to go and, and uh, become an OC and grow and develop. And then he uh, went over to UAPB and grew there. And then uh, he went over to PV with Coach Doolin and uh, did a tremendous job there, and then he was coming here. And then when uh, when Bubba became the head coach over at PV, he snatched him up, right the show, uh, made him the OC, associate head coach and OC over there. He did a fantastic job there. So it, it was uh, – and, and I've had – I had other uh, candidates that I interviewed. I interviewed several, and they did a really good job. But he stood out because of his knowledge of the game, uh, his ability to relate to the players, his discipline. Uh, he's a great recruiter. Uh, I've had to recruit against him uh, a few times. Uh, he's, he's a great recruiter. He's a, he's, a, he's a great person. He's a great coach on the staff. He's a great addition. And the, and the sky is the limit for him. You know, you know he was also the uh, offensive coordinator in an NFLPA game when Eddie George was there uh, last year. And as a matter of fact, Eddie George, tried to hire him as his OC at Tennessee State. And then he also participated as the quarterback's coach in the Reese Senior Bowl last year. So, uh, and he's been, you know, he's recognized as one of the uh, the uh, 30. At one time, he was one of the, the top 30 under 35 in the American Football Coaches Association, NCAA, uh, young coaches deal. So he, he's prepared, he's qualified, uh, He's grown. He's proven. And, uh, you know, when you have an opportunity to, to hire uh, a talent such as, as Mark, uh, you got you to gotta take advantage of that. And then, of course, he's a, he's a Jaguar. So uh, he understands the expectations. He understands what it takes. And he also wants to see his university get back on top. So it was a, it was a slam dunk for us. 